Hey guys, if you're here to learn how to batch video content for YouTube and IGTV, then stick around because I'm gonna show you my tips and tricks to making this an efficient process. So stick around. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm your host, Enrilla. This YouTube channel is for entrepreneurs and online business owners. Today, we're here to talk about how to batch video content for YouTube and IGTV. Now, before we get into it, I wanna make something clear. This is a strategy that I've picked up for myself over the years. I've used to edit my own videos, now I have a team. So you're gonna have to pick and take whatever works for you. I will give recommendations for both sides. However, keep in mind that this is all adaptable, right? You're gonna learn over time what's gonna work for you, what isn't gonna work for you, and I want you guys to keep that in mind. These are just suggestions for you to creating batch content, because I get a lot of questions about that, okay? Before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you're really excited about learning this because it's gonna be such a game changer. I think that one of the biggest things that people come to me with is time. They're like, Jen, how do you find time to film all these videos? The filming isn't the hard part, you guys. It's editing is the difficult part. And so in this video, I'm gonna talk you through the ways that I used to edit my video and what that looked like and that whole process as much as I possibly can. But again, you're gonna to wanna to use and adapt to whatever works best for you. All right, you guys, so let's get into it. If you're stuck on creating actual content, you wanna check out my video on creating content to kind of help you guys actually create content for any type of platform. So make sure you check that out. So there are three steps to batching video content. It's planning, supplies, and taking action. Now, before we get into this, I'm gonna explain every single one with you. I'm gonna break it down and what's needed for each process and how that looks. So number one is planning, planning, planning. I know everyone's always like, yeah, duh, that's common sense, but it's not just like writing ideas down. No, 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 it's actually doing research. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how I actually do that and how I manage it as well through a platform called Asana, which is my project management website, and it's the platform that I use for me and my video editor to be in communication about the whole scripting, editing, and filming process, even the uploading process, all the way to the very end the day a video gets published, right? Because there's so much that goes into videos. And again, this is for YouTube and Instagram. It's pretty much the same thing, except you just have to change the dimensions of the types of videos that you create, right? But for now, I'm gonna show you exactly how I use Asana and how I plan my content to be in communication with my team so we know exactly what's coming down the pipeline. Okay guys, so I wanna show you guys how I use Asana to schedule my content and then plan it out so that when I film, it then goes to my editor. And even before I had an editor, I still used Asana to make sure I kept myself disciplined and on track with what the process was. And also my team knew what was coming down the pipeline. Because another thing to remember you guys is like, I don't just create a YouTube video and just share it and that's it. It goes through my newsletters. There's certain posts that I create for it through Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and things like that. And my team has to know what's coming down the pipeline a few days before so they can get that content ready. So this is Asana, right? This is the platform. And so we're in my YouTube content folder, right? And so I wanna give you guys an idea of how I have this work. So these are the films that are in the roster for editing for my editor right now. They're in the editing phase. And then these are the ones that are ready next. Now I talked to you guys about how I come up with all these ideas. So these are a bunch of ideas and content that I have. And then these are scripts that I'm still writing. These are scripts that I'm done with, but I'm still editing and things like that, but it's ready to film. So when we go to my calendar here. What you'll see is that every Wednesday I launch a YouTube video, my editor is in charge of launching that, right? Like this is the pipeline. These are the videos that are coming down up until May 6th. As of May 6th, because I said that I curate content in batches of three to four, that means on that Saturday, I have three videos that I'll be filming. And then what happens when I'm done with those? So for example, let's say I were in May 9th and I film how to gain Instagram followers. This would all be done, my entire script, everything. And then I would come here and the next video that would be on the 13th. So I would label it as the 13th and then I would tag Elena, my editor, to go ahead and continue to do that. So yeah, guys, that's how easy it is to schedule out content. And usually it takes me about an hour to come up with a ton of different content strategies. And then it's writing a script anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes because I do research and I really, really get deep into what you guys are looking for. And again, if you want to see a video on how to create content, make sure that you watch this video. It'll definitely share some insight to how to create consistent content. Okay. All right, so number two would be your supply. So now you've planned everything, you already know the videos that you're going to prepare, and you've already picked the day you're gonna film, now it's getting ready the night before with all your supplies and everything. You wanna make sure you have batteries, your batteries are all charged for your camera because there's nothing that's more annoying than when you're starting to film and your batteries are dead, it's like, Really? So we don't want that to happen. The two most important things when you're filming is the quality of light and the audio, right? Remember, you wanna use good lighting. And if you don't have a ring light like this, then I recommend you film 
facing the window, not against the window, like your back towards it because it's not good lighting. You can see it's probably a little dark over here. Whereas if you film in this direction, you can obviously get good lighting and it's a clear view of you. Or you can purchase a tube ring light on Amazon. There's a description below with more information that you guys can check that out along with my microphone as well. So those are really, really important. Another thing that you wanna prepare for, which I think is the hardest thing when you're filming as a curl is having outfits, right? So if you're batching content, right? You wanna make sure you have different outfits for different videos, not only when you choose to edit it so that it's clear for you to understand like which clips are for what videos, but also from an outside perspective, like people don't wanna see you in the same exact outfit all the time, right? So have a series of different outfits that you can change into that really just look good with what you wanna wear. And guys, look, you can keep a professional on top and pajama on the bottom, it's all good. It does not matter. <laughs> they only see from the waist up, remember that. Okay, so now we have our plan of execution, we have our supplies, and now we are ready to film. It takes me anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes to film one YouTube clip. Now, remember in the beginning of this video, I said that you're going to take what I say with a grain of salt and adapt it to your lifestyle and the way you run your business. Everybody does everything differently. Don't do your head in if it takes you an hour to film something or if it takes you 15 minutes to film something. However long it takes you to film something is irrelevant as long as you actually film it, right? It takes me about 30 minutes to film one YouTube video and that's with the B-roll, that's with the actual filming and all that stuff. So you want to make sure that you're putting out X amount of time to crop out X amount of videos. If it takes me 30 minutes for each video and I want to film four videos, I typically batch my content into three to four clips. That means that I'll have two hours of filming. I always give myself a little bit of a cushion and I usually block out three hours for myself just to like change, kind of, you know, put on some music, get my energy up, all that kind of stuff. Another recommendation I suggest is that you film in the morning. Typically when I film in the morning, I'm way more energized than when I film in the afternoon because I'm just exhausted. My energy is a little bit depleted. I wake up early. So I have that first cup of coffee and I am ready to go. Okay, so after you film the video, now you're like, okay, how do I edit this? What's this gonna do? Now it's the exact same methodology. So let's say on Saturday you film four videos and you have all that content and you don't have an editor like me, I just send it off to my editor and she takes care of the rest, which is awesome. But before she existed, I used to edit it, so I totally get it. So it usually takes me anywhere between one to two hours to edit one video. I wouldn't try to do it all in one day, I'd try to do it in two days and I'd make sure that I block time to actually get those videos done. If you're looking for tips on how to be effective while working from home, check out this video where I talk about how to be effective from home and how to use your time wisely, especially during right now's COVID-19 lockdown. You guys, there are tons of ways that you can edit videos and it really is just all time consuming. Doing, but my recommendation is that you film in batches and then you edit in batches. When I edited it myself, I didn't batch content in high volumes. Like I didn't do anything over five videos at a time because the overwhelming idea of editing five videos just like drove me nuts. And I'm a perfectionist, so I didn't do that. Some people can, so do it if you can, you know? If you can't, then don't. Now I batch as much as I possibly can based on my schedule and time, and then I send it over to my editor and she takes care of the rest. All right, you guys, you have my three stages to filming batch content for YouTube and or IGTV. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop them below. And don't forget to join my private Facebook group online. It's called the Passionate and Purposeful Entrepreneur Group where I am in there every week and I'm coaching and I'm talking about entrepreneur stuff and mindset and content and blogging and being an online coach and all the things that you can run when you have an online business. So definitely check it out below because it's freaking awesome. It's always a party in there. And if you guys like this video, I hope that you gave me a thumbs up. But until next time, I hope to see you guys soon. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye. What's wrong with me? I can't talk today. I don't have coffee. Oh, that's definitely what it is. Oh. I need